the owner of the um, uh, hostel suggested I come here and have noodles or uh, rice. I'm going to get a rice bowl. There's some paper cuttings up there. A whole bunch of them right here. Hmm. Like origami, this is probably some kind of a real skill. Here's also be a sports bar for runners. And the reason for that is the man up there winning the marathon is the owner. This gentleman right there. <laughs> You too? Oh, that's him up there. Ah, fantastic. <laughs> Dinner at the place that was recommended. And this is a rice bowl. It should be chicken and egg and hopefully some onions. I asked him to put some in. I'm not sure whether we were able to communicate that one. And this is seaweed soup. And it does taste like seaweed. It reminds me most of all when I was, um, was scuba diving somehow the salt water and that sort of thing conjures up that memory to me and then there's a bowl of i think it's uh, probably green tea but i'm not positive and then some kind of vegetable as just a little side condiment would you say hello to my friend greg yeah. if he will talk to my friend greg and say hello in japanese my friend's son speaks Japanese. So this, this is the man who um, won the marathon picture. Japanese. Hmm? Japanese. Okay. 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 Yep. No English. No English necessary. Japanese only. Japanese. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Takachi ho e yokoso. Oide itadakimashite arigatou gozaimasu. Arigato. Arigato. Watashi no omise ni kite itadakimashite arigatou gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yes. And he has just pointed out to me uh, the men who are friends of his uh, that are great racers or were great racers. This was at Sapporo. I'm not sure if it was the Olympics or not. 91 says. This is number one. This is the close up picture of when he won the Olympics. Not the Olympics, but a marathon. Excuse me. I'm sure Greg Prue will appreciate that look of ecstatic completion. And this is his little restaurant. Uh, excellent rice bowl and probably great noodles, udon. And it's right near the shrine, which is where all those trees are behind that building. design looks like an old place or older at least even the manhole covers is supposed to be pretty this is true elsewhere in the world not, not the United States normally here this old cedar companies old monuments of a shrine of some sort from the old days perhaps use what space you have for beauty and for food this is not a pruned tree in that sense, but I think it's probably like a elkatea. It's a seasonal or a rain or water based plant when it comes to what it sprouts, if it sprouts. I'm just walking a back alley 
uh, over about a half a block from the main street, well, kind of main street, a bigger street, let's say, just to see what I can see in the neighborhood. At least it's a more comfortable kind of neighborhood, ambience-wise, than Tokyo. Doesn't that look like a pretty backyard? Pretty dramatic area that these folks live in. This gets lots of snow in the wintertime, quite cold. Another little corner shrine with a, not sure what you call that. You have to wonder if that shrine, it looks like it, has stood there throughout all the evolutions of this community. And then also there's that little hill behind it with something up on top of that. So you can just try to imagine what this was like a hundred years ago, two hundred, three, five, 